Hello everyone, my name is Dolores Hagen, and welcome to a preview of the Henderson Hummingbird Hurrah. We'll take a look at the hummingbird population, and we'll also take a look at all the Minnesota River Valley merchants that are offering discounts to anyone wearing that Henderson Hummingbird Hurrah button. The buttons sell for just $10, but can be worth hundreds if you take advantage of the discounts being offered. And remember, each button has a raffle number, so you become eligible for over $5,000 in prizes just by registering the button. Big time savings for everyone. Those button merchants will be listed at the bottom of the screen, so watch for those Minnesota Valley merchants. They're up and down the valley. They're in Shakopee, Jordan, Belle Plaine, Henderson, Lesseur, and St. Peter. But now, let's get to that update of those ruby-throated hummingbirds and the population as we get ready for that Henderson hummingbird hurrah. You're looking at two feeders outside my sunroom window. That position is going to be the location of the trap used by Don Mitchell for the hummingbird banding during the Henderson Hummingbird Hurrah. That's coming up August 27th, 28th, and 29th. Take a look at these hummingbirds. This is July, roughly the middle of July. There were just two hummingbird feeders hanging out here. We'd get one, maybe two, maybe even three or four birds at the same time. It was right after the first hatch. Babies were amongst the adults that had been here since May. More and more birds were coming in, and we felt really good about it. But then all of a sudden one day we realized we had more birds, and I wanted to figure out a way to attract more of them to this location. After all, this was the location that was going to be used for the banding, and I needed to find a way to bring more birds to this specific location. My answer was to set up a couple of shepherd's hooks, a pole, and to hang a bunch of feeders from that pole. There they are, all in a row. As I panned the camera down the row, I wanted to find a position that would give view to all the feeders. But just as I was attempting to do that, a Hummer came in, and being partial to Hummers as I am, I couldn't resist moving in on the bird. Beautiful green, probably a new hatch from this year. Just stunning. action seemed to be down at the other end. They were really busy down there, but every once in a while, one would come up to my end. I just thought I'd sit and watch, let the camera roll. Kind of funny. Hear them, see them, in and out. But again, most of the, well, here comes one to this end. I decided to move the lens around a little bit see if I couldn't get a better angle, try to get more of the action and try to get more of them in one shot. I tried this angle. It seemed to work pretty well. There I go again. I can't resist going in on the bird. I love watching them close up.
I decided I'd better move that camera and see what I could get. I moved it to the other end of that buffet line, and voila, ruby-throated hummingbirds everywhere. They were there by the dozens. Just watch, and you'll see what I mean. I have no idea how many hummingbirds there are in this yard, but I can assure you there are a lot of them. As you can see, they come into the feeders. Who knows how many there are in there right now? I can see five, seven, ten at a time. And what we can't see are the ones standing off. There are literally dozens of them in the trees above and in the air standing off trying to make their way into the feeders. Remember, this is the exact location where the trap will be located during the Henderson Hummingbird Hurrah banding procedure. This is the spot where Don will set that trap. I think you'll have enough hummers. I really do. Mm -hmm.